Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to AFK Journey. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about the first premium character, which is Bala. Now the game has been officially released in all platforms on PC and mobile. So I hope you guys are enjoying the game. And if you haven't downloaded the game, the link will be in my description down below so that you guys can download the game. But anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So as you guys can see right here, Vala is going to be the first premium character in the game as of to right now. So we have the Raid Up Recruitment banner and we have the All Hero Recruitment, the Epic Recruitment and the Stargate Station. If you guys haven't watched my last video, the Stargate Station is basically uh, like a banner where you can unlock hypogen characters like you can basically unlock two two exclusive classes of characters and that's what the stargate station is for so when we look at the rate of banner we have vala now is vala worth summoning for so i ended up bringing my vala up to like legendary and so far she is a pretty solid unit and the thing i like about vala is the fact that she is good when it comes to single target damage if you want to eliminate the enemy like immediately she is really good at that and she is really good at eliminating enemies in the back row so if you're fighting like a group like of course if you're fighting like an enemy mob and let's say the front row is filled with tanks and they have the taunt skill well you can use units who can basically override that taunt and she can target enemies who are in the back row let's say ranged units so she can basically eliminate ranged units which is really really solid and i definitely recommend you guys to like if you're trying to target a specific unit you want to play her in manual not auto because for auto she's just going to target anybody but in manual mode you can basically target the back row enemies like range units and just immediately get rid of them so she is a really awesome unit in terms of eliminating the enemy immediately so that you don't have to worry about them and when we look at her skill she has like two different forms like as you guys can see she has like this dark form and she also has this light mode she has like two different battle modes which is actually pretty good she has like this battle mode where she'll take out a rifle she'll shoot it and she has this other mode where, where she's going to pull out like her umbrella like if we look over here i'll go back again as you guys can see she's going to use yeah she basically switches which is really nice so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay and then we're going to talk about whether or not um this game is worth playing so we're going to come over here to afk progress we're going to click battle and then let's go ahead and form our team here so we have C uh Saya. i'm going to take her out and we're going to put in val instead so val is going to be in the back row and i feel like we should remove yeah we should put this character right here so she can receive that attack speed boost and then the thing about Smokey is Vala, she is going to be teleporting across the battlefield. So I feel like Smokey, he wouldn't be a really good, good option because she's not going to stay in Smokey's AoE field, which is going to grant additional attack. So we should probably put in a unit like, let's say this unit right here. She's actually pretty cool. We can put her in. And yeah, I think this is a pretty solid team overall. We have Thorin, who's going to pretty much be the tank of this team. So let's go ahead and rearrange and let's go ahead and let's click battle so we're going to put this in manual mode so we're going to use thorn attack and the good thing about thorn is the fact that he has that revive it is so good all right let's go ahead and proc this and then let's proc this as well uh there it is and then we're going to go ahead and try to get rid of the ranged unit so as you guys can see we can literally get rid of a ranged unit we can pick anybody so i'm going to come over here i'm going to get rid of let's say this unit right here because she has low hp let's try to get rid of that look at that already eliminated right off the bat so we don't have to worry about her and let's go ahead and let's use thorn again one of our units died so even though we lost that battle, you guys can clearly see how Vala is. Like you can see what she's all about and how good she is. The fact that she was able to immediately get rid of the ranged unit, the enemy team is actually pretty solid. So we're gonna go ahead and do this in auto mode. And let's see if she's going to actually target 
the same enemy that I targeted. So I'm going to click battle. Let's click auto mode. Let's see if she's actually going to target the enemy who, like, one of the range units. Let's see. Okay, as you guys can see, she immediately destroyed that enemy right there. Okay, so we got Rome with the energy recovery. Nice. Looking good so far. All right, so we win that. So auto mode, it seemed like the AI, they knew what they were doing. So you guys can clearly see how Vala works. She is a really good single target unit. So should you guys pull for this unit? Yes, like if you are trying to push AFK, like AFK stages, and you want to get a unit that specializes in single target damage, Vala is really, really good when it comes to single target damage. So you guys should 100% go for this unit if you want to get a single target dps unit who can immediately one shot she is really really nice overall when it comes to single target damage but i will say when it comes to aoe she is not the best because that is not what she's specializes in so yeah you mostly want to get her for single target purposes all right so now let's go ahead and talk about bosses now is she good against bosses now I will say that she is not a bad unit against bosses, but she is not the best option because there are other units who perform way better against bosses than Vala. So I would highly recommend you guys to, like, if you want to test her out against bosses, then go ahead. But you want to mostly use units like Ollie, like this guy right here, not Ollie, Odie. This guy is broken against bosses. He is absolutely cracked because his he's like a single target damage over time dps unit and he's just absolutely insane against bosses so you want to mostly use this guy right here Odie, instead of vala because Odie is just broken overall but if you do want to use vala then she's not a bad option but i would definitely recommend you guys to use Odie instead so what i'm, what I'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and use this attempt right here and i'm going to show you guys um Odie's damage versus vala's damage against necro necro dragon that's what his name is let's go ahead and pop this attempt right here All right, so as you guys can see, we did some pretty insane damage and we were able to defeat the boss. So let's go ahead and check Odie's damage. So Odie was able to do 836,000 damage, which is actually pretty good. Now let's go ahead and swap out Odie and let's put in Vala and let's see how Vala can perform against this boss versus Odie. So I'm gonna go ahead and move, remove Odie and we're gonna put in Vala instead. So let's see how good she is against this boss. So we're gonna go ahead and click battle.
all right so Bala did the most damage now let's go ahead and see how much damage she was able to deal so she did around like 1,280,000 damage so she is really really good against this boss specifically i will say that Bala she is good against this boss a uh, necro dragon she's actually good against him but there's like four other or three other bosses that you have to fight against in dream realm and she's not really that good against those other bosses but she is really good against necro dragon so she was able to deal more damage than Odie, but i still feel like Odie is a better boss unit overall but vala is still a good option if you don't if you don't feel like using Odie for some reason then Vala is a good option against bosses because she can do some pretty good single target damage. So 1 million damage is actually not that bad. And just to let you guys know, you definitely want to pair up with Kruger because Kruger, this unit right here is a must have in order for you to deal insane damage against bosses because he shreds physical defense. So yeah, her performance against bosses is actually pretty good overall. So my initial thoughts on this character, like I said, she is a solid single target DPS unit. She is pretty good against bosses. She is not the best option against bosses, but she is a good option to use. And she is absolutely amazing in PvE because you can literally get rid of enemies with one hit, which is actually pretty nice, especially in manual mode. So she is a solid character. If you want to pick her up, I would definitely recommend you guys too because she is a really really strong dps unit overall now i do have 3400 gems i'm going to go ahead and pop a multi summon to see if i can actually get another copy of her so i'm going to go ahead and use this recruit button right here let me pop it let's see if we can actually get a copy of valid that would be really really dope because i think we can actually send her to legendary plus oh uh, we didn't get a copy dang it but we are getting close to that pity which is actually pretty nice and just to let you guys know um you can it's literally like 100 percent guaranteed in order for you to get valid like you don't have to win 50 50 you don't have to really worry about that and that's what i really like about this game is the fact that you don't have to worry about you know 50 50 when you're summoning for a premium character like valid you can literally get a free like you can literally get a 100 percent guaranteed copy of her in like 40 pools which is actually pretty good so only seven more summons and we're going to get another valor so i'm not that mad but is this game worth it now you guys i know you guys download the game and you're currently playing the game right now but is afk journey worth it and in my humble opinion yes i feel like this game is definitely worth time and investments because it is a fun game this game is really fun you have exploration you can travel around the world as you guys can see look at how big the map is the map is huge and i haven't even completed the open world like i haven't even completed this area of the map yet like as you guys can see i haven't even completed dark force 7 intermediate yet but i did complete a lot of areas in this map and there's just so much content there's so many things going on in this game and I feel like it is definitely worth your time. Like if you want to try out a game where you can explore, you can build different team comps, you can progress infinitely because as you guys can see, the AFK stages, they go on for a long time. Like you can literally grind endlessly for on AFK stages. You can go on PVP, you can go up against other players, you can join a guild. There's just so many things you can do in this game. And I definitely feel like AFK Journey definitely lived up to my expectations and it is a really really solid game overall and just to remind you guys there are some codes that you can redeem in order for you to get some rewards so i will include the code in the description link in the description down below so that you guys can redeem your rewards but anyways i'll be ending the video at that make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't i'd really appreciate it and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace